New tonight at 530, the Rhode Island Department of Health confirms 11 adults have died in the Ocean State from the flu so far this year, 10 of them over the age of 65. Now the flu is considered widespread across the country. The current strain impacting the nation is considered to be particularly dangerous to kids and the elderly. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen sat down with the Department of Health today to see where things stand in Rhode Island. He joins us now live in studio. Steve, are officials alarmed that 11 people have died so far this year? Well, Mike, I asked exactly that today. I was told there were 33 flu related deaths in Rhode Island last year, so it's not that different year over year, but it is, of course, something state officials are taking very seriously, telling me that they have redoubled their efforts in schools to try to prevent the flu from spreading even more. Flu is widespread across the country. No family should feel the same pain that we're going through right now. CBS News reporting a 12 year old is the most recent death from the flu this season. Nationally, there's been more than 30 pediatric deaths. Flu is a very serious virus. It, it results in deaths every year. Joseph Wendelkin at the Rhode Island Department of Health says no kids have died in Rhode Island from the flu. <coughs> but the flu has killed 11 adults in the Ocean State, 10 of them older than 65. We're really redoubling our efforts now just because of how much flu we're seeing. H3N2, the most prominent strain right now, is known to be particularly dangerous for kids and the elderly. The health department sent out this memo to school districts across the state. The Warwick School Department posted it on the main page of their website. The memo lists key things parents can tell their kids. Wash your hands, um, cover sneezes and coughs, use a tissue if you don't have a tissue handy, then cough into your, your elbow. Wendelkin says the health department collects data on student absences year round to check for any trends and he says there are more kids staying home sick right now but it's not anything out of the ordinary it's not unexpected for this time of year it's not unexpected for the amount of flu that we're seeing throughout the community but it is something we watch closely now of course the health department continues to urge people to get the flu vaccine if they have not already we've posted that department of health memo on our website wpri.com if you'd like to read it i'm steve nielsen eyewitness news